you know, we've talked about the turnover tsunami. I mean, I, I actually, I have clients that are in the 40 to 50% turnover rate on the floor. Uh, up in the office area, it's probably more in that uh, 10 to 20%, but that's still significant, right? It's definitely not something to, to blink at. Um, people dealing with the high turnover from this, any, any words of encouragement or any guidance that you want to go through? Uh, you're not alone. Um, <laughs> True. You're not alone. Um, I think there is an opportunity to consider, um, you know, in addition to comp and in where you're at from a market mm -hmm. perspective, um, you, you know, that could be a piece of it. And especially if you're working next door to an Amazon, right, or, or someplace that is, you know, they're, they're paying these high wages and, and looking at mm -hmm. what kind of roles that you're hiring. But I think it's a, a good opportunity to evaluate how those roles might need to be restructured a little bit. And so when mm -hmm. we think about some of the people who had to step away from jobs over the last year and a half, in some cases still, I don't want to say sitting on the sidelines necessarily, but they need a role that's conducive for them to come mm -hmm. back to. So uh, there's a lot of, I think, talent available out there. If we can figure out how to structure roles um, mm -hmm. and compensate roles in a way that that is going to be conducive to that. So mm -hmm. whether that be looking at some more part time options, whether that be, you know, working, looking at maybe some roles that maybe they straddle shifts a little bit because that's an ideal time for for people um, and just looking at ways um, that we can incorporate that into some of those job requirements. I think a lot of employers tend to look at their wages and, you know, you're right. If you have an Amazon or somebody else near you, FedEx or somebody big like that, that's, that's competing against you and they're paying a higher wage. It's easy to feel defeated. Like there's nothing you can do, but I think, you know, immediately the next step is looking at the incentives because I understand as a business owner, I don't want to immediately raise wages to be competitive with everybody else. If I don't think I can sustain it for one, um, because once you raise wages, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to go backwards, right? Um, so what are some of the things you're seeing out there as far as incentives or what are some creative things that employers can, can think about or do to maybe offer something else, right? Other money. Yeah, so this is an opportunity to look at what are some of those reasons that people do stay with your organization? What mm -hmm. do they like? And be able to articulate those in a job posting um, in an interview. So if it is, you know, work-life balance, if you have tuition reimbursement, mm -hmm. if um, you have a mentorship or a development program, what are those things that people like? Um, you know, if it is kind of a small um, family atmosphere, if you will, mm -hmm. um, and to be able to explain those things and articulate those things, I think yeah. is, is helpful in that process. Um, sometimes leading with some of those things in a job title, um, you know, sometimes people will put in there as a part time, but um, I, I work with one particular um, client who they have found some success just in saying um, to some of the driver roles that they, they post that in an overnight role. So putting some of those things right there in the job title to be able to attract the people that you need to. No, that's great points because I mean, looking at the strengths of your, your company, or I mean, it actually is a great time for business owners to reevaluate their company. And like you said, why do people want to work there? What, what things do you offer that are unique? And whether it's flexible hours, whether it's some sort of tuition reimbursement. And I really, I think from an employer aspect, looking at it on what could you give that provides more value to you long-term in your organization? Like you talked about, maybe there's a, maybe there's a role to uh, get a certification or something that's gonna lead to a, a better job performance, right? Um, there's a lot of avenues to go down. Yeah. I've seen a lot of um, employers out there using a hiring bonus um, mm -hmm. and, not, and not that I'm opposed to that. I think there's some ways that you can structure that, right? To, to ensure, you know, at least a bit of longevity. But sure. um, what I like um, besides that is, is considering um, a referral bonus for somebody internally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and spreading that out as well, right, for the, you know, over maybe the course of a couple years for mm -hmm. the duration that those two employees are both with the organization sure. and um, they have some staying in power, but don't just make that about the people you're bringing in, mm -hmm. also reward the, the people who currently work for you and are loyal to you. 
sure. And in understanding like even performance related items, like if there's a performance bonus that's paid out, you know, gain share. I mean, those are all things that maybe get overlooked in, a, in, in putting into a job uh, posting, but there are things that get people's attention because it's ways to earn more relative to that. Um, yeah. I hate to say it, but food's always a great motivator too. <laughs> um, I actually had one operation I ran where there's one of the division teams that we could almost double the output if we bought pizza for lunch that day. It was amazing to me. It worked every time. And it was, it was one of those things where like, we should just cater in lunch every day. <laughs> so. yeah. I mean, and those are the things that if you know that they're, they're desirable about working there, the mm -hmm. job posting doesn't just have to be the skills and qualifications. It right. should include um, the incentives for working there in addition to the pay, right? Additional links discussed can be found in the comments section below on YouTube. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope you found the information useful. OpsQC Inc. Podcast, sponsored by Paylossum.